Hello everyone, HazeFest here. I'm gonna do some auto hotkey tutorial information on really quality of life changes that someone in the community had brought to my attention. And these are fantastic. Um, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on what each one of them does. I'll show you in the script which one, uh, which bit of information it is and all the stuff that's new. And I'll put all this in the uh, description of the video below. So just check the video, check the, uh, the uh, timestamps if you want to see what each one does individually. And uh, yeah, I recommend just copy and pasting all this information right into your script. If you're using my previous scripts, just add these on and you're good to go. Um, I really appreciate the people in the community that are giving me really good information such as this. If you have something that you would like to share with other players who use other hot, auto hotkey, please feel free to let me know. Um, you can jump into my Discord, uh, which will be in the description below, or you can you know follow me on Twitch and notify me there. Um, I go live and I play a variety of different games. So if you want to just get my attention, let me know that you want to share something, and I will take a look at it and test it. Once I've tested it and see how it works, I will do a video sharing your information and I really appreciate the people who do. Um, if you have problems with your scripts and you need help, just put in questions in the uh, comments below what your problems are and I'll help you if I know the answer or I'll research my, myself and I'll get you an answer. So uh, I really appreciate everyone who's checking out my videos and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, now that we have my chat box really visible here. Uh, I have the script super large for you guys. I'll go ahead and make it a little bigger so you can read it a little better on the uh, auto uh, on the YouTube translation. So all my scripts, uh, I have new information. This is a bit of information that I've added on to with my old script where you could toggle your script on and off. So if I used, uh, to toggle my script, I would use shift numlock here. And that would pause my script, but I wouldn't know that it's paused until I tried to use it again. Well, this now puts a text box, a visual indicator saying that the script is uh, paused. So now when I do shift numlock, I get a little text box that says script suspended on my cursor. And then when my cursor moves, you can see that the script is still here. So when I do shift numlock again, that goes away. That's a very helpful indicator saying that, hey, your script isn't working and now you know. So that's that's fantastic. So that whole block right there is just for that. So if you're using one of my old scripts, delete the toggle script to return section and just paste this in. The only thing that's really different here is just this line. So if you just wanna copy this line and put it in to your script right in this section, it'll do the same thing for you. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom here. Here's all the new stuff right here. Let me see if I can get it all on the screen for you. There it is. So this is all the new stuff. This is the stuff that I was sent from someone in the community. And this stuff is awesome. Uh, if I had known about this a long time ago, I would have been using the crap out of it because it's that good. I think every script that doesn't already have something like this, you need to copy it in the description information of this video and put it into yours because it's that much of a game changer. So this first bit, suspend when typing. So if you're fighting a mob or if you're in a really high combat situation or, or area such as Benno Bridge or somewhere where you're gonna get tagged, uh, this is pretty handy. So if you are in the middle of fighting somebody and you hit enter, it puts a indicator saying your script is suspended I can type and then I can hit enter and it'll resume my script. So now as soon as I'm finished typing, I can immediately go back in to using my script. That's pretty awesome. So if you hit enter and you hit enter a second time, it pauses and resumes your script. So cool. I love this feature. Um, another thing is if I don't just use the enter key, but if I use num, num, um, sorry, numpad enter, or regular enter or I can use both it toggles between them and also if you um, if you do shift enter I'm not sure why you would want to do that but if you do shift enter it also suspends your script 
I'm not sure what people would shift enter for. That's weird. So um, this section here, other keys that can open your chat menu by accident. Um, so if I send someone If I send someone a message and I get a response or someone messages me and I want to respond to them, you can use the R feature and that will immediately suspend your script. So even if you don't have a reply and you accidentally hit R, it'll still suspend your script. But for the purpose of this video, I just want to show you how it all works. So you have the slash command, so if you hit slash macro and start typing, you know, if you just want to make a macro, you can do slash macro. It'll suspend your script when you're doing that. Same old stuff for Fames. Awesome. He's a good dude, by the way. If you see him in the battlefield, kill him. He likes that. Um, so if you hit R to respond to him, it suspends your script. And then when you hit enter to send him a message, it'll resume your script so you can immediately start fighting. So if you're in a, you know, if your area where you're fighting mobs or you're fighting other players and you need to do a quick communication, you can do so. Pretty handy. Uh, another thing is the little apostrophe button. I'm not sure why the apostrophe button is a chat thing, but I guess it's so close to enter that if you accidentally hit it, you know, whatever. So the apostrophe button opens your chat menu for whatever reason. And then enter slash and R. All these will put a visual indicator on your screen saying that your script is suspended. Very cool. I really appreciate the people who gave me this information. It's really good. Um, escape closes a chat window. So if you are in the middle of typing something, very long message, and someone attacks you, or you get attacked by a mob, you can hit escape and go right back into using your script. So hitting enter or hitting escape will eventually, uh, will resume or stop your script. Escape by itself will not stop your script from running. But if I start typing something and hit escape, I can spam it and it will pull up my menu instead of toggling my script. I'm, I'm sorry. Escape only resumes your script. It does not start and stop it. So if you make a mistake or you don't want to type something, you hit escape, you go right back to using your auto hotkey keys. Pretty awesome. It just puts your script right back into action. So this right here isn't really a big quality of life thing. This is where you can use uh, control paste, control V to paste a bit of information into your screen, uh, into your game. So if I took this information and I copied it, I can now open my chat box and paste it in. That's not a big quality of life thing, but if you have like a big thing of text that someone needs to know from another source, you can copy that information and paste it in. I don't recommend using this to spam your websites or spam bot information because no one likes that. Um, but if you need to share information, and you want to just copy it and paste it in, this feature will allow you to do that. And uh, it's pretty handy, but it's not a big quality of life feature. It's just nice they don't have to type all that crap out and really focus on what you're doing. You can just copy and paste it. Pretty awesome. So I just want to go ahead and thank the people that are leaving comments and asking questions. Um, some of your questions are very interesting because I don't know the answers and I have to go look them up. So in those cases, I appreciate it because I'm learning and you're learning and everybody's happy. Um, in the future, if you want to share your information, you can contact me on Discord or you can jump into my Twitch and PM me there or you can PM me on Discord. Uh, all my information is going to be in the description below. So check that out. And uh, yeah, if you are having trouble with one of your scripts, Go ahead and drop a comment. I usually get back to people within a couple hours. I check it several times a day. So if you have a problem, please leave a comment. If it's specific to your specific auto hotkey setup, I will try to emulate or figure out what the problem is. Or if I don't already know the answer, I will, I will test it and, and find out for you. And I'll get back to you. Um, I really appreciate the people that are 
asking all the really hard questions and I try to post and give script script uh, script technical help where I can and uh, hopefully some of my answers are going to be long because it's really technical information uh, do help you or somebody else so I really appreciate the people that are coming by and communicating if you want to share more information please do so because the person who shared this information is only going to you know make everybody else's who watch this video uh life a little better when it uses when it comes to using the scripts so um thank you for that and if you have something you want to share i will test it before i release this information to you so if you have something you want to share send it to me i'll try to use it in the game and see how it works once I've figured all that out, I will bring it to you on a video and we'll just make some really kick-ass scripts together. You know, you, me, community. So, yeah, you can do a lot of really cool stuff with this program. And, uh, yeah, let's see how far we can take it, guys. I really appreciate it. My name is Hastefest. I'm a variety streamer on Twitch and uh, I do YouTube videos. So I appreciate you guys coming by today. Spend some of your time with us here on the channel. And, uh, yeah. Drop a follow, subscribe on YouTube, uh, follow on Twitch, all that good stuff. And uh, I appreciate those who do very much. In fact, let me go ahead and play uh, Jam Loops. A new follow follower. notification. He was I was offline when he followed. Thank you very much, Jam, for uh, for doing that. And uh, yeah, guys, Dark Age of Camelot's awesome. Even after twenty one years it's still a fantastic game and uh, the phoenix server's been a great place to uh, relive my nostalgic childhood i'll catch you guys later thanks for watching